Let's so everybody grab a book and turn to page 375. Remember the Don Rickett family? That's um, Margie's daddy. Remember her sisters and family. He passed away this week. David's family. Uh, Satan don't care who you are. 
He'll jump right in the middle of your home and make complete shambles out of it. <clears throat> so just pray for healing, spiritual healing, mm -hmm. and for Luke, whatever is going on with him, mm -hmm. that he might be able to see clearly that the Lord loves him, his family loves him. Just, just pray for that family. They're in dire straits right now, and they need our prayers. And yeah, they'll probably be mad because I had prayer. But I don't know what else to do. Church, I don't know what else to do. Other just ask for God to intervene and clear up that tangled mess that Satan has caused there in that family. others will sing the leads. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We've got one anniversary this week. I'm sorry. You want to forget.
to uh, take this minute and, and uh, give these Bibles that the church has uh, purchased for uh, the graduates. So if Campbell, uh, if you would come up, and Caroline, uh, the church has uh, purchased these Bibles for you girls. And, uh, be the best book that you can carry to college with you, wherever you may go. Best book that you could possibly have, okay. and uh, we love you. Yeah. We're praying for y'all, <laughs> and we are proud of y'all. Yeah. That's a big accomplishment uh, for graduating from high school, because I know it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy journey to get through high school. Probably easier for them than it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> but. Me too. I love these girls and church y'all just pray for them and ask the Lord to help them every step of the way and guide their paths the way that they need to go. Love you girls. We got one for Braxton so whenever he uh, here, church don't let me forget uh, to get him his and uh, <clears throat> We're going to try not to be very long this morning because uh, this is communion. And uh, I, the Lord just laid a couple of verses of scripture on my heart that I feel like I need to read this morning. And uh, then we'll go into communion. I've asked uh, Truel and Paul to help with the communion service and also asked Russell if he would sit with us at the table and to help with breaking the bread. You want to read with me to be in the book of Exodus. And we're in the 12th chapter. And this is the Passover. And the Lord told Moses, you go and you talk to the children of Israel there and tell them what they need to do. If they uh, need to sacrifice that of a, a calf, that of a lamb, either from the sheep or from the goats. It's got to be unblemished. And then take that blood and put it on the doorpost and across the top of the door. And whenever the Lord passes through to pass judgment on those there in Egypt, whenever he sees the blood, he'll pass over you. The church has never been more true than it is today. I know that I don't have uh, blood uh, painted on the doorpost of my home, but that blood is painted on the doorpost of my heart. And whenever judgment comes, of the Lord, he's going to pass over because he's going to see the blood. He's going to see the blood. But what I want to read here in the 12th chapter, the 11th verse, it says, And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. That verse, as we begin to try and understand what's being said is that you have to be prepared. You have to be ready to take the Passover. So the same here this morning. You have to be ready. But to take that of the Lord's Supper, 
This is a, 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 a replication of what the Lord done with his uh, disciples. And we have to be ready. We have to be uh, as clean as we can possibly be. Have your loins girded. Your shoes on your feet. You know, as we uh, try to understand the reasoning for shoes on your feet, the only thing that uh, I can uh, even begin to think it might mean is uh, that your uh, feet are protected from uh, the briars and the thorns and the thistles that's all around out uh, in this world that we long walk in and that, uh, that we need to uh, do our very best to uh, protect uh, that of our feet and it says in your staff and your hand. You know, as I, I begin to look up the, the word staff, it uh, has many different uses and uh, many different meanings. And, uh, in Hebrew, it uh, means this, and in Greek, it means that. And it, uh, in Hebrew, and uh, that's where this derived from. It uh, is talking about that of a root that uh, has been unused. It's talking about that of a staff, that of a, a stick that uh, still has the leaves on it. And, uh, it's green. And, uh, that represents life today. I, I want you to know that uh, whenever we go out into this world, uh, uh, and we face the things that we face, uh, uh, we can carry our staff uh, uh, with this, uh, uh, can be our staff, uh, uh, and it has life in it. Uh, uh, there's life uh, uh, in the Word of God. Uh, uh, that song uh, uh, that we just sung, that uh, love lifted me. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, if you want to be lifted up, uh, uh, then you turn to Jesus, uh, uh, you turn to God. Uh, uh, God is love, uh, uh, and He will lift you up. Uh, uh, it says, uh, uh, you shall it in haste, uh, uh, it is the Lord's Passover. Uh, uh, listen, this that's represented here today, uh, this is not a casual dining. This is not where you just go and uh, wait in line at a restaurant and uh, they call your number and you go in and you chit chat and uh, just have a big time. This is a representation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, it's a representation of what He done not, uh, for each one of us. It's a representation that uh, we should carry as a uh, that of a, a memory. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I remember as a child uh, uh, there in Hall Creek uh, uh, when they'd have uh, uh, communion. Uh, uh, and you know, uh, uh, Mama always made me sit with her uh, on those Sundays. Uh, uh, and I'd reach uh, uh, for that bread. Uh, uh, and she'd pull my hand back uh, uh, and say, Son, you can't have it yet. Uh, I had a desire uh, uh, to have it. Uh, uh, I just wanted it. Uh, uh, to taste it uh, uh, but I want you to know uh, uh, at that point in time uh, I didn't really realize uh, uh, what it was all about uh, I just wanted uh, a piece of that bread uh, uh, listen today uh, uh, I want you to realize uh, uh, that each one of us uh, uh, in order uh, uh, to take part uh, uh, in this service uh, uh, you've got to have a testimony uh, uh, you've got to have uh, uh, that uh, of a time and a place uh, uh, that you can go back to uh, uh, and know uh, uh, that you asked Jesus Christ uh, uh, to save your soul. Uh, uh, without that, uh, uh, you'll bring uh, uh, condemnation uh, on yourself uh, uh, if you take this uh, uh, not being saved. So if you've not been saved today, uh, uh, you let uh, uh, the plate pass by you. Uh, uh, you let the cup uh, uh, pass by you. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, whenever you get it worked out with the Lord, uh, uh, then uh, uh, you can commune uh, with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, and it says here to drop down and read the 14th verse. Now pay attention to this verse, Shady Grove. I'm counting on you. 
counting on you. I know and realize that I won't be here forever, but I know that Shady Grove will be here for a long time, and a lot of y'all will be here for a long time. So pay attention to this verse. It says, and this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So Shady Grove, don't you let this church down. This is an ordinance set aside to be done in that of honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't you let this get away. I'm pretty sure that table probably says, do this in remembrance of me. Uh, that's Christ's word. Do this in, re in remembrance of Christ. Listen, it's not just a casual thing. This is a serious thing. This is an important thing. This is a spiritual thing. And you said, well, the goal is she's about to get stirred up. <laughs> I wish she wouldn't get stirred up. I've been stirred up since yesterday on the lawnmower. <laughs> it seemed like, I know the neighbors probably thought I was crazy. Jennifer probably thought I was crazy. I'm uh, trying to sing along and uh, just praising the Lord uh, for what He's done in my life. And uh, listen today, uh, you've been saved by the grace of God, get stirred up about it, and uh, uh, be willing uh, uh, to rejoice and uh, not quench the Spirit. Paul says, do not quench the Spirit. So don't quench the Spirit this morning. Let the Spirit of the Lord flow from breast to breast. Let your cup run over. Just let your cup run over. I promise you this, the Lord, He's, he's pouring it out. He's pouring it out. The question is, are you holding your saucer out? Or have you got a cap on it saying, I don't want none of that? Oh, take the cap off. I, I get your saucer filled up. I, I just go to meeting for a little while. Just go to meeting for a little while. We're going to go into communion. And I probably won't say anything else today. But I want you to know that I love each one of you from the depths of my heart. And y'all pray for these as they come around. And some of you men would come and come to the table. Get Trill, Paul, up here, Russell. You know what? Miles, I want you to come and sit at the table too and help us break the bread. And they probably somebody say, oh, Need another chair. No, we don't need another chair. I want to stand up. <laughs> I just want to stand up today. I want to lift my hands up to an almighty God and praise Him today. This He done for me because He knew that I would be a sinner and I needed Him. This is for me. This is for all of y'all. This is for all of y'all. You would trouble, you fall.
apple. Oh, I'm glad it's from the Lord. Lord, he took that as he would be with bread. He took bread. And before, he, before he break it, he blessed it. Yeah. And then he prayed. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, yeah. we humbly, Lord, we're so humbly to the south. Lord, in your great divine presence, Lord, we come. The Lord, come. I'm before you. Lord, we come in the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. The Lord, glory. We're going through the motion. The Lord, they will know the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray to this church and the deacon board will always see, will always see, this is a spiritual service. Yeah. Yes. And Lord, this year, we can't do anything Lord, without the Spirit. And well, Lord, I have a testimony this morning. One place in the Bible that said, let a man examine himself. Yes. And if you've been saved by the grace of God, this year he said, you, you've got a testimony. Yeah, you have. The Lord, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, not loving their lives unto death. Yeah. Lord, that's faith. Lord, that is faith. Yeah. Lord, I pray. Yeah. Be with all of us today. Lord, I say to your old church. And Lord, is it a church ordinance? Yes, it is. And Lord, we have two in the church. Lord's Supper and Baptism. That's the two orders of the church. Yeah. And Lord, I pray now, go with us, be with all of us. Lord, for we do it in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Yeah. Oh, 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 my heart and soul. I've got a testimony. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes.
Did everyone receive the body of Christ this morning? Not if you hold your hand up, we'll be sure that you can serve. The Bible says that Jesus said, Take, eat, this is my body. So this morning, let's all take. Anybody? What, what about all the people in the Old Testament? What, what, 
I, I'm not even concerned about that. I am concerned about them. What I'm concerned about here today is Jesus made a way. Yeah. As long as you've accepted Jesus Christ, if you got, this may be unusual, but I'm, I'm going to go anyway. If you got passed over of the, of the bread, there's still time. And you're still breathing. you still got a breath in your, in your lungs. There's still time to accept Jesus Christ. But once that last breath is gone, it's over. There's nothing you can do about it this time. I know it's not going to be, I know it's not going to be in any way, but I've, I've been shown before that people are standing in heaven, standing before heaven, trying to get in, arguing with Jesus, arguing with angels, arguing with God, saying, but I did this and this and this and this in my life. I attended church all my life. I helped this person. I, that, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Works are not going to get you into heaven. I don't believe that you can have the blood of Jesus and not do works. But you can do works and not have the blood of Jesus. And that won't get you there. He said he blessed. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Father in heaven, dear Jesus Christ, we come to you this day, Lord, unworthy to maybe even utter your name, but we come to you this morning thanking you, Lord, thanking that you made a way, that you made a way that whoever would believe that we'd have a way into heaven, Lord. Lord, we thank you for that today, Lord. We thank you for everyone that is in this church, Lord. Lord, we beg if there be one here, Lord. We're going to put that one in front of all the rest, Lord. Lord, if there be one here today that don't know you, Lord, that you would touch that one person, that person that's here, Lord, today, and let them know that they need you, Lord. Without you, that they will face death, and it will not be a good sight, Lord. It will not be a good day for them. Lord, I beg, Lord, that there be one here today that don't know you, Lord, before we pass this wine again, that you would touch that person, Lord, and let them know and understand, Lord, that they need you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We thank you for everything you've done, for everything you will do, Lord. Lord, as it's already been asked, Lord, that you, the special prayer, Lord, and I'll mention it and say it, Lord, Lord, and maybe he'll see it and he'll understand, Lord. Lord, I beg, Lord, for Stephen Davis, Lord, that you would touch him, Lord, let him know, Lord, understand, Lord, that you're with him, Lord. Lord, I don't know the whole thing of that, Lord, but you do, Lord, and I thank you for that, Lord. I beg that you be with all the Davis families, Lord, oh, that all, Lord, all those families that are in need, Lord. We know, Lord, we know there's so many families out there today, Lord, that Satan, Lord, has destroyed those families, Lord, and you can fix it, Lord. Lord, I beg that you would fix it today. Lord, I beg one thing, and if you grant nothing else, one thing that I do beg, Lord, Lord Jesus, Please save the lost. We love you. We thank you, Jesus. We pray in your name. We do this in remembrance of you and for no other reason. Thank you, dear Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. Amen. 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 Amen.
did not get served this morning. You know, as Jesus took his cup and he passed it among the disciples, he told them, This is my blood, which is said, shed for me, shed for me for remission of sins. Remission of my sins, your sins. Again, the disciples, they, they are not totally understanding what's taking place. But in a short period of time, they're going to see. They're going to see that blood flow from Jesus' side. And they're going to understand what he was saying. And he also told them, he said, I'll not drink of this cup with you here. Uh, I, and I, th I can't quote it exactly, but uh, he talked about whenever we're all back together, we'll drink of this cup. We're all going to be with our Lord and Savior, walking hand in hand, Troy. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be no more days of weakness. Walking hand in hand with our Lord and Savior. He said, take this cup and drink ye all of it. God, lead God and direct us, God. And God, just thank you 
God, for the Holy Spirit again today. Lord, as we were hearers of the word today, God, let us go. God, and for the rest of the week, be doers of the word. And go with us, lead God, direct us. For your sweet and holy, precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Some of you here went out. We're going to sing. We've got lunch down in the fellowship hall. And I encourage and I want each one of you that is here to stay and to eat with us. I guarantee you it will be a lot better than Zaxby's. <laughs> so just come down here and, and let's fellowship and have lunch together. Do something good for somebody this coming week. Smile as a stranger. Love each other. We need more love in this land. And I again, I just want to praise God for what he's done for me in my life and allow me to feel what I feel. And as I told Ginger coming over the road, that song was playing. I'm not getting up. I'm not turning around. By the grace of God, I'm going to keep on doing everything that I can uh, to share the gospel with a lost and dying world. Let's go sing that song. Thanks, 504. God bless the Lord. <laughs>